Well, if it's you and we... It must be Tom ATV. It is Monday, the 1st of August. We are back in the park today. Happy after birthday, we, Mom. We were in the park. Hey, hey, it's Mom's birthday. We're back in the park today because... Well, let me show you why we're back. We're thinking the mummy might open. Let's hope it does. Come on along. Fingers crossed. Today's the day. Come on, mummy. Okay, so the reason we are here is exactly this. This morning, bright and early, what had disappeared from the Universal app was very interesting. What has disappeared under the um, Revenge of the Mummy app is the closed disc that used to be. It used to be right there. Used to be right there. So the closed disc is now gone, which means. If the, if the theme park gods are with us, there might be a chance this thing's going to open. So we're going to go over and hope for the best. Here we go. Interrogations of our citizens. To make sure you're going to be safe this right. part of the day. We need to make sure that you're going to be safe. So, Matt, Feels like ha Halloween Horror Nights already. They're interrogating the people. Speed limit walking through this zone. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good question. So if you step in this square, you're, you're toast. They pull you over. Two, two miles per hour. Okay, here again at Revenge of the Mummy Watch. I see that the lockers on the inside, the acapella groups over there doing the thing, they are all on, ready to go. The umbrellas, I, I was thinking if they were going to open this stuff, they get some excitement going by opening these umbrellas. And also on the doors way back there, I don't know if you can see it, I'll try and zoom in. The scrim covering the doors is still there. But the televisions on the inside are running the Q, the Q loop. I think that's what I see up there. Yeah. So I think that's what I'm seeing up there. I hope my old eyes are not uh, leading you astray, but that's what it looks like. Yeah, yeah, I'd say that's it. That's absolutely it. So, I don't know, gang. We are on Mummy Watch again. Let's hope it happens. So Rhonda's all-time favorite ride here. She was thinking about picking up some mummy gear, so we're looking through. That's a mummy gear slash Halloween horn ice right there. Pretty cool. Rhonda likes this one. Oh yeah, how much is that thing? Well, let's give a look. How much moolah? Can you be my eyes right now, please? <laughs> it's uh, 30 bucks minus your pass holders right? discount. Yeah, not too bad. Okay, we might get one. Yes, so as we come through, we do notice one of the ride TVs is on. That's a good sign. That's a good sign, but there's not two of them on. And there's somebody working on cables and whatnot. So just a quick word with uh, technician upgrading the screens to instead of keyboard, uh, upgrading the screens to touchscreen. And uh, I mean no, no super duper breaking news. If if they're gonna open this thing with pictures, it's not gonna be today. Um, if they're going to open this thing and kind of bypass the picture thing, maybe, I guess. But uh, I think he's hoping in the next couple days, two, three days, maybe they'll be ready. Certainly, people have been riding it. We know this. And uh, especially the VIP employees. And uh, I 
think it's ready to go on the inside now. It's just a matter of getting ready to go on the outside, and we're a little short of that. So there you go. That's what we know. Okay, back by the old Fear Factor stage, and I can see that there's definitely been some movement inside. Lights getting set, stage getting set. Oh, yeah. So there will be a show in there, and we will be there to cover it for you. Can't wait. The show last year was awesome. So one of the places, maybe the only place we've never eaten, is the Bumblebee Wants Tacos uh, truck, and it's so damn hot, I don't want anything to eat. Holy cow. So Doc Brown's up here. Playing with the gang. Yeah. Doc is the man. Hey, Doc. Morning, guys. How are we doing? We're good. How are you? All about 97.85% really well. <laughs> Hi. Stay cool. Doc. You know what's funny about walking through Universal? Every yellow shirt, I think, is Rick from Rick Flakes. <laughs> every one. You think, oh, there's Rick. No, it's not. These are old movie posters, and they, they all say coming soon. And they're all lit, which is really neat. So they put the lights in them. And this hallway is going to be converted to the tombstones, which Rhonda and I have signed up for, for Halloween Horror Night. So that should be fun. That should be a fun deal. So we're walking through the uh, tribute store, and something very unfortunate has happened. King Kong has swooped down and picked up Rhonda May. <laughs> uh, Help me, Tommy TV. Help sorry, hon, I'm out of here. So this is why I came in here, because I am hearing that there's a little bit of Halloween Horror Nights stuff at the end of this. I don't know. I don't know if that means it's Halloween Horror Nights stuff. Um, so the jury's out on that. I'm thinking no. But uh, there it is if you want to see it. Got a bunch of more movie posters. I just think this is movie posters and whatnot. It's in the bag. So we're looking. We've got the touch screen on the uh, mummy going back there. They're doing a good job. And... Uh, so they've got those converted a lot quicker than we thought. So that's a good job. Okay, Rhonda's going full out Zoltar. We're hoping Zoltar can give us the answer. When is the mummy going to open? Is the mummy going to open up within the next 48 hours? We're swiping. We're swiping. Okay. Step up. Step up. We don't know what's happening. We don't know if we just bought a meal at Finnegan's or what. We, we're just swiping cards and card readers. Exciting stuff here because Universal's great movie escape looks like it's coming right along. So that's going to be exciting. When that opens, you know, it's an escape room uh, thing that you do. You've probably, maybe you've done it, but if you haven't, it's an absolute gas. There's a mystery in every room, and you've got to get out. You have to escape. So lots of fun here. And when this baby opens, we will sure be here to try. Okay, we're out in front of Bubba Gump Shrimp, and I just wanted to say that I've always been impressed with the size of the shrimp that you get at Bubba Gump. I mean, here's one now. Oh my God, they're unbelievably big. Oh wait, that, wait that's a flush character. Okay, forget the whole thing. Okay, now people don't know this, but the, the entrance to the Uptown Subway, no one ever goes down here because it looks like a nothing burger. But I will tell you, the expert vloggers know that it's actually a portal. It's a portal. 
to absolutely anywhere you want to go. Can you believe it? Wonder Twin Powers? Activate. All right, everybody. So Ron and I usually touch hands and we end up in the backyard and that's the whole gag of transforming uh, back home, not having to wait in traffic. But uh, so I get up this morning, uh, I'm not feeling well. It kind of feel like I got a cold, blah, blah, blah. Long story short, take a COVID test and it is positive. So somewhere along the way, I got the old COVID-19 bug. Rhonda May uh, didn't get it. I mean, I thought we were a team. I mean, we're a team. We do things together. But uh, she decided not to get it. But uh, so I got stinking COVID. So I will be taking a five-day sabbatical in the house. And, um, and then five more days outside the house if I test negative then with you know, wearing a mask. So I hope to get out there, but this, I can assure you now, now that I got COVID and cannot go to the grand open, grand reopening of the mummy, it's definitely gonna open in the next five days. Where else would you rather be than getting COVID with Tom A TV?